you're so smart by now, you can already see this is some kind of lymphoma, so you're saying, well, let's move on to the next case. You're right. It is a lymphoma because it has lymphoid type of cells. You can see that already even at low power and is kind of growing in a diffuse uh, pattern in which there is absolutely no normal uh, type of lymph node architecture present, although you do see maybe one, maybe two, maybe three residual uh, secondary follicles with germinal centers. Otherwise, the tumor is composed of these lymphoid cells fairly small, fairly uniform, diffusely growing. So if you want to call this a diffuse lymphoma, you can because it is. And if you want to stain this with T or B cell markers and it comes out B, you can also call it a B cell lymphoma. But let me tell you something else. And if I was a football coach, I'd say, listen up. Only about half of the lymphoid tissue in your body is in lymph nodes and spleen. The other half is along mucosal surfaces because you need immune cells along mucosal surfaces to combat all of the horrible things that could be on the other side of that epithelium. And that's why most uh, mucosal associated lymphocytes are B cells because eventually they secrete uh, antibodies and often the IgA type. So even though this is a diffuse lymphoma, noticed that there is some connective tissue as part of it. And if I told you that this is not come from an actual lymph node, but from mucosal associated lymphoid tissue, you could then call it a malt lymphoma as well. Uh, and technically, this actually did come from mucosal associated lymphoid tissue. It's growing diffusely, it's stained with B cell markers, uh, and it, because we already said mucosal is not lymph node, you can call this an extranodal zone B cell lymphoma of mucosal associated lymphoid tissue. Uh, if you want to be really cool, just call it a malt lymphoma. Now, can we recognize some salivary gland here, tissue here or not? Yes, we can. We finally can see that this is a salivary gland because we have asini which looked predominantly serous. And we could see large, uh, I think they call these intercalated ducts. They look like they're intralobular. And uh, now we know where this uh, lymphoma was from. It was from the salivary gland region. Thank you very much.